And today we are very happy to have Professor Hong Binder from Dongwu uh, Dashi, Suzhou University. And Professor Hong, uh, his research area is in number theory, especially on static uh, malfunction. So he is very familiar with the uh, uh, non Archimedean analysis. And the talk, uh, talk today is on the derivative of anti technical chaotic malfunction of elliptic. It's a big curve. That's welcome. Thank you, okay, thank you, thank you uh, for the introduction by uh, Professor Wei. And uh, uh, it's my, really my pleasure to uh, give a talk with you. And uh, thank you all, you all for coming here. And okay, so uh, my uh, my type of talk is on um, it's uh, blah, 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 on the derivative uh, of the anti-cyclotomic theory of functions of the curve. Then basically, uh, basically there are only uh, two two uh, keywords, some, something, some, some curve, some elliptic curve, one dimensional thing, and the, some derivative of some, some function uh, uh, attached to this uh, curve. This geometry, this geometry object has some function, and we want to talk, uh, discuss this, this uh, derivative formula. Okay, so this is the basic uh, structure of the thing, of the title, okay. So the, the, uh, uh, the content of my talk will consist of uh, I will spend half time talking about the background and the history. So, uh, have, uh, hit, uh, experts may feel very bored. And uh, uh, the, the rest of time I will talk about my work, my previous work. Okay. So, uh, let me begin with uh, some history. Okay, so, uh, uh, in number theory, uh, there, are, there are many branches, branches in number theory. Uh, one, one, one branch in number theory is that to, to study the uh, solutions of an polynomial equation also with condition in Q. I uh, want to study those uh, solutions. And the one famous question is that the famous, the, for example, the, the famous equation, right? Okay. So this famous equation uh, has been uh, the, the famous, uh, uh, famous, la famous last theorem, which states that uh, those kind of equations has no integral solution, which which uh, they are not all non-zero, or non, uh, so so they, they are, uh, uh, has doesn't have so, uh, all non-zero solutions. Okay, and uh, this is a very uh, famous uh, famous famous last theorem, and this is uh, first uh, proposed by famous around 1950. Oh, in this time, and uh, in, uh, this question is uh, uh, written in his uh, notebook. Uh, everybody may know this story in his notebook and uh, he said that the the, 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 no, the the space of the notebook is not enough for him to write down the proof. So but this is right, correct. This is correct. But actually we, we didn't see a proof. Okay. And the later later on the while Andrew Wells oh, he proved this uh, uh, this this so called famous last theorem in in around uh, in in uh, 19, 1993 to 2001, uh, it, uh, the first uh, the first uh, preprint is uh, is uh, is uh, uh, it, uh, let's see the first preprint in 1993, but there are some problems in that preprint. So, so finally, he fixed it. He and his students fixed it. Okay, in 2001. Okay, so uh, so this is a famous uh, question. Okay, so today. Today we are, we are going to focus on another type of question, uh, equation. Oh, this is the same math equation, right? And uh, today we are, we are going to focus on another type of equation. Oh, so this is the, this kind of cubic equation. Cubic equation, oh, which is uh, uh, like this, look like this. Y squared equals to x cubed plus a, ax plus b. Where a, b are uh, uh, rational and uh, we, we require this condition. Uh, this this uh, this cubic uh, polynomial has discriminant non, non equal to non equal to zero non zero. Okay, so we want to talk, uh, consider this equation. Uh, why do we can care about this kind of equation? Because this kind of equation called are called elliptic curve. We will define later. This kind of equation are now uh, very uh, popular in uh, in in cartography. Uh, they, are, they have a clear application in photography. So those equations are very uh, important uh, in mathematics itself or in application of things. Okay. So it's that those equations are important. And uh, by uh, firstly by single theorem, oh, this is this thing is original that 
nonetheless, there are only finite many integral solutions. So if we, we, are, we are going to study integral solutions, then there are only finitely many. Oh, so so the, the number of solutions basically are known. So they are finite. Finite, okay. And uh, later on, so later on we would like to an, ask uh, another question. So we want to ask uh, how many rational solutions? Oh, if, uh, since the uh, uh, integral solutions are finite, so we want to uh, enlarge the solution space. Oh, so we want to uh, enlarge the, uh, the, the, uh, the possibility of x, y. We, we, we allow them to be uh, rational. So we are, we are going to ask uh, that uh, how many uh, rational solutions of this equation? Okay, how many? Oh, infinite or finite? Uh, if this is finite, how many of them? Okay, so we are, we are going to ask, ask, uh, ask this question. And uh, so when a uh, mathematician starts a uh, question, the first thing they are going to do is they, they will see some example. They will look at some examples. Uh, so we will, uh, we will see some examples. So first, firstly, this is already uh, known by Fema. He showed that uh, for, for this equation, uh, uh, this uh, means A is minus 1 and the B is 0. Uh, Fema already showed that this, for this equation, the only rational solutions are the, the three solutions and the actually they are inti integral they are their integers or the solution they are integral solutions also that, that in particular they, they, uh, they, uh, the, the equation has finitely solutions and then it's three right okay oh we must show this and uh, on the other hand not all solution not all equation has finitely many solutions for example how this guy y square equal to x cubed minus 82 x oh. For this equation, uh, it can be shown that uh, th this equation has uh, infinite, infinite many, many rational solutions. Okay, so so the first uh, first thing we want to ask is that uh, how can we determine from A and B? Uh, from A and B, how do we determine that uh, this equation has y squared equal to x cubed <coughs> minus a plus a x plus b has finitely many solutions of infinite many? Uh, can we can we uh, find some algorithm to determine this thing? Oh, so we, uh, let me take the word a little bit. Okay, so, so, okay, actually I wrote, I wrote it down. Okay, so actually we want to determine, okay, how many solutions, infinite or finite? Oh, just for a moment, we just want to determine infinite or finite solutions of this uh, equation. Okay, that we don't just mention. Okay. Well, so, and the, uh, uh, actually, there, there is a proposed uh, uh, algorithm. The best thing that you want to determine something, the best thing is that you can get some algorithm to run. You can put on computer to run some algorithm. And, uh, uh, and uh, we want to determine this thing. And the famous uh, uh, conjecture called Virtuous Momentum Diagram Conjecture, uh, BSD for short. Oh, and uh, this conjecture uh, proposed some algorithm to determine this thing. To determine how this equation has uh, the, uh, this, this equation has finitely over infinite many solutions. Oh. So this this conjecture proposed some proposed some algorithm to determine this thing. And uh, this this conjecture is uh, is one um, a million million US uh, problem is uh, uh, given by the uh, Clay Mathematics Institute. Okay. So if you can solve this question, then you can get uh, one million US. You can determine this. Okay. Uh, what, so what this uh, conjecture said? I, I will I will uh, explain uh, this uh, conjecture to you, and uh, later on I will talk about what uh, uh, what the relationship between my work and uh, and uh, this thing. Okay. So firstly, I will I will explain this uh, what what this algorithm. Okay. So so um, now we are going to uh, so far we don't have mathematics actually. We don't we don't see any mathematics, so we just have, we just have some some relation, and we want to we want to see how many points can be into that relation, right? Uh, just uh, not, not no mathematics actually. You don't see. So we are going to do mathematics. So we need to some we need some definition to put everything into some mathematics model. So uh, so we define the uh, elliptic curve over Q is uh, is given by some is given by the previous equation. And uh, and uh, uh, and uh, 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 one new thing is that uh, we, we think of uh, uh, we add one uh, one more infinite point 
one pole infinity, uh, infinity at uh, two left. So it's a, this equation together with some point at infinity, oh, just just like that, just like this, and the point. And uh, we we denote denote this set this EQ EQ is the solution rational solution, and uh, we we put the, the 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 infinity into this set. So because remember that we want to determine this set is infinite or finite, right? Oh, we we add one more uh, thing here. It doesn't affect the finiteness or infiniteness of this. Uh, so we want, to, we want to study this set. Uh, if this set is finite or infinite, right? Okay. All right. So, so now the the first thing is that this this uh, uh, originally is a, it's just a set. Uh, so the first thing is that uh, miracle is this set is a uh, is a group. Uh, this this set becomes a group uh, uh, by the following group law. Let me just. Uh, let me just quickly uh, go to the picture. Uh, what picture? Okay, let me I'll quickly go to the picture. This, this, uh, okay, this uh, this uh, uh, this is a real uh, real solutions of this curve. A uh, real solution. So those points. Uh, so they can they can be drawn in the real plane. Okay, and uh, this is uh, this uh, uh, the the, uh, the graph of this equation. And uh, how is uh, the operation group operation works? So if p we, we are going to uh, uh, a B, uh, uh, we are going to operate the two points, and the good operation is uh, works as follows. We first draw the uh, second line through those two points, and the second line will uh, pass in through the third point. The third point, okay. If we uh, a third point, uh, we denote this, this point by negative r, and then we we uh, do the refraction of this point, we get uh, some point r. So th this point would be the the uh, defined to be the addition of the first two points. Uh, the addition of the two first two points is defined to be you, you you draw a second line through the two points, and because the the the, the curve has degree three, so basically you, you will get the third a third point as intersection, and then you you do the refraction with respect to the x axis, you get the some point here, and this point is uh, defined to be the addition of the, the the previous p and the q. Okay, so we have some operation here. Okay, so. Um, and uh, you can you can compute. Of course, you can compute this this process, right? You can compute it. It's pretty. You can you can if you 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 do really have two points, x one y one, x two y two, and uh, you and uh, if you compute uh, the coordinates of the the third point, you c you get a low formula. You can you can write down. You can compute it as uh, exercise, or you can do it. So you do you get some. The third point given by this formula x3 y3, oh, okay. And uh, you, if you notice that, you will find out something that if if x1 and x2, y1, y2 are rational numbers, then the the x3 and the y3 are rational, right? <coughs> like, like, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is something very interesting because you you uh, you are even even this means that you are if you are given uh, two rational points solutions. Through that process, you get the a third one, the third point, which is also rational solution, right? Oh. So in this process, this the process means that if you got two points, then you got third point. You can produce new point. Maybe not new, maybe new. Okay, maybe produce point. Uh, it's infinite point. Maybe maybe itself. Maybe okay. So. Uh, and then in this part, if the two points are the same, then in this case we, we consider the tangent line, right? The, and tangent line will intersect the infinity. Okay, so infinity is the the point uh, uh, operator itself, for, uh, at least for, at least uh, at least for this point. Oh. Okay, vertical. This uh, vertical uh, with the, this point with vertical tangent. Okay. Okay. So so we got some some interesting thing. We, we can we can produce new rational solution of the old solution. Uh, we can do this process, right? And, uh, okay, so, and, uh, and uh, so this is just how I say we can produce new points, okay. Okay, so it's it actually, actually this is, uh, this is more interesting that uh, this is uh, uh, less a famous theorem given by Model Bay, which says that, uh, uh, okay, uh, I, 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 uh, I didn't say that, uh, this, uh, this set with that operation becomes a group, uh, with the uh, identity element is the infinite points. 
And uh, obviously, this, this uh, operation is abelian. So this is the abelian group with the infinite point there. Okay, so, and uh, we, we have seen examples. Of, although I didn't prove the example, the previous two examples, the one example is that it has finitely many solutions. And the other example is that uh, it has infinitely many solutions. And uh, this, this group is uh, abelian. So what, what the best thing you can expect is that uh, the structure is finitely generated. So this is zero on model base, which says that uh, this, this space is finitely generated. Oh, so this means that if you, you can find finitely many solutions, and <coughs> through the, the operation, you can produce all the points. Okay, so this is a very important thing because that uh, you, you can, it, it means that if you can find finitely many points, you can control it. For people, human, we cannot control infinitely many points. But we can control finitely many points, right? We can write them down. And if through that simple operation, we can produce all points, then we can, we think we understand, we, we can control those points, all the points. So this is a very good thing. We can control infinitely many points by finitely many points through some easy operation. Okay, so so this is the, the contents of this uh, theorem. We, uh, we only need to find finitely many points to control this infinite, in, infinite state. Okay, okay, so so the po so the question then depends <coughs> to how, how to how can, we, how can we find those finitely many points that generate all the points. So the, the question next is asking this. So uh, so so that I just said. So if you know if you learn the uh, algebra, you will see that uh, this uh, finitely generated group has uh, this structure. Uh, it, it's a, it's some, it has some uh, finite torsion part, and uh, it has some uh, copies of integers. Uh, here, R, R A or G is uh, some uh, positive integer, including zero, non-negative integer. Okay, and, and this is uh, this this number is so important because this number uh, this number reflects that uh, the group this thing this set is infinite or finite. If this this number is zero, then this this set is finite. If this number is greater than one, or greater than zero, then 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 this set is infinite. So this number becomes very important in, in, in what we are talking about. Oh, we, well, okay, so so we have this number, and the next number is called algebraic rank of the ADT curve. Algebraic rank, because everything is algebraic. We have algebraic equation, we have algebraic operations, and we have group structure, and we got number. So this is called algebraic rank of the curve. Okay, so we have some number here, algebraic rank. Uh, everything from uh, 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 break uh, operation. Uh, we are turning from this in this uh, thing. Okay, so we want to un understand this number, right? We want to un understand this number is zero or greater than zero. Okay, so um, so uh, so that, that's what, what I just said. Okay, so um, and uh, let, let me briefly talk about this uh, this the finite part. Uh, this finite part is uh, extremely easy to understand. Uh, so. But we talk about this uh, this torsion part. So this is it's a theorem. If a point uh, in in the torsion part, uh, if the coefficients are integer, uh, integral, then the point is like if the point is a uh, torsion, then uh, the co uh, uh, coordinates are integers, and uh, and either y is zero or y is divide this 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 integer. Okay. So it, it can be computed uh, explicitly, uh, at least in this situation. And uh, actually, uh, it's a deep theorem of major. It can, it can it write down every possible uh, structure of the uh, torsion group. And then the, the torsion group has uh, uh, only 15 many possibilities. Okay, so it's uh, either this z mod z mod z z mod n z or z mod two z product from z mod two n z. Okay, so 15 possibilities. So we can, so it is uh, well understood. It's part, there are many, but finitely many possibilities occur. Okay. Okay. So this, is, so so this is well understood. Okay. So, so uh, however, this this guy, that that's the crucial number we want to understand. It's difficult. It's it's um, it's uh, much more difficult to understand. Uh, so, um, hey, can you go back. Go back. Okay. Sorry. I just want to. Uh, Formula. 
Okay. I just want to leave this one. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, so um, there are many. Uh, so people long have been long time to under want to understand this this uh, this this rank. So, so what can we people do? People just run many uh, examples, right? And uh, so uh, it's a conjecture that this rank can be uh, you can find you can find it in curve with rank very very large, arbitrary large. For example, if uh, if rank if you write down one uh, a thousand, then there should be some elliptic curve with uh, rank uh, 1000, at, at least 1000. This is a conjecture very long time ago by Lane. And this conjecture, uh, this conjecture is, is known in function field situation, elliptic curve of a function field situation. They are always elliptic curve with uh, rank, arbitrary rank, uh, arbitrary large. Uh, but uh, it's not known for elliptic curves over rational. And uh, actually, recent, uh, Actually, uh, the best uh, record huh, so far is given by these people. Oh, oh, I, oh maybe. Huh. I didn't check. Uh, I didn't check uh, uh, what's the, the latest uh, uh, latest uh, rank. Huh. But uh, as far as I know, the latest rank is uh, is by due to these people. He find some elliptic curve with uh, algebraic rank at least twenty eight. Oh, twenty eight. Okay, and uh, and uh, there are some. Uh, there are some uh, evidence in 2016 which uh, from probability theory which suggests that uh, there should be finite, only finding many elliptic curves with a square length greater than 22. So this, this thing, if this thing is true then the length conjecture is false in numbers, in rational, uh, in number field situation though, uh, uh, which you can, uh, in, in, in Q situation, rational situation. So it's, in this, is, if this is true. Oh, but, but this is just evidence, it's not proof. It's the evidence, but it's not proof. Oh. And uh, this, this thing is uh, also, um, I, I, think, I, I think this thing is, uh, I heard about this thing first from, from, from Wiles. I, I checked some video of Wiles. Uh, he said, he mentioned about this thing. So I think this is uh, mm, something uh, not so, not stupid thing. So Wiles also, also, also tell people about this. So maybe he also believed some, believed some, some, some proposal about this thing. Okay. So anyways, anyways, this is not known. Oh, anyways. Okay. Okay. So this is a, this is something difficult to understand. Okay. And uh, we 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 uh so we uh it's difficult. So we we can propose some example to tell you the difficulty. So for example, if you uh. Uh, the two people they, they consider this uh, this rank one is this curve. So it's rank one, so it should be some point which who can generate the 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 who can generate the the z copy the z uh, the whole z copy of the uh, uh, of the group. So so and uh, they find out that thing and they find find out that point and the the uh, the smallest uh, generator. Oh, the I guess the coordinate of this smallest generator is is as follows. And this point, this smallest means the digits. The log it has the uh, it has shortest digits. Oh, the shortest digits of is of this form. So you can see you can see it's difficult. This is a difficult function. You cannot compute by hand. And uh, you can it's also difficult to compute by computer. And this is for the computer right like now. For so content computer is a different story. Okay, so at least now it's it, it, it's part impossible to compute by hand and the computer, and this is a difficult question. So so but but it can be fine. But how how people find out? It's by mathematics. It's by ma ma mathematics. You cannot compute, but mathematics uh, uh, has some beautiful theory which you find out this point. So this something uh, mm -hmm. something you you can think of. Uh, only God can do that. But we, we cannot do that, but uh, we 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 do mathematics, so we discover some <coughs> secret of God. So we can we can then use that to find out this solution. Okay, <laughs> uh, anyway, so so it's a difficult question. Okay, okay. So now now uh, uh, what's the algorithm? Oh, uh, what's the algorithm to de determine this uh, rank? So the algorithm is as follows. So for simplicity, we can we, we consider only integer coefficients. The equation is all, all, in, all integer coefficients. Then we can you, you can imagine how people do things. If, if you learn integer theory, 
Oh, it's difficult to, to answer integer to, uh, question in integers. But you can you can do something map you can do map piece of uh, procedure. Map piece of procedure give you finitely many possibilities. Oh, and then you you basically answer every question. So the basic strategy is that we do this thing. We we, we can we can consider uh, e divided over z mod p z. We consider coefficients are from zero to p minus one. Or you can divide it by p and get the remainder. Or you can replace every coefficient by this thing by the remainder divided by p. So it lies in the from zero to p minus one. And then you can solve this question in z mod p z. So there are only p square many possible x and y pair of x y. So the, the the answer you can this you can absolutely uh, compute the answer really easy, very fast. So for for p does not divide that, that thing, then you, you can compute that number, right? Of course you can compute it by hand. If if the curve is easy, you can compute by hand. And it is also easy by computer, very fast. Or you can compute the number, okay. So um, then uh, what's the most interest important thing is that uh, uh, by many experiments by the pre by by pe some people previous people they find out that uh, if if the if this curve really have a rank uh, if rank at uh, this one then then uh, uh, it consider map p the, the the point the solution map p will grow also so actually if you so mainly that if you consider this thing this product four more products or uh, you, you consider the map three solutions and uh, you uh, uh, or over three, three overlaps and the mod five solution, the five overlaps. So naively, if, uh, if, if the curve has a, a rank, then this uh, number will grow, will, will also grow. So so this, this number cannot be zero. But if the if curve has a finite many solutions, then this guy may <coughs> not grow so bad. So this is, this is a naive thing. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, even not defined, right? It's the infinite product, even not defined. Okay. So, but naively we will call it alpha. It's not defined, right? As now, right now. So, how people, how mathematics, how how mathematicians do that? Mathematicians do do the thing. Mathematicians do is that. So, we expect that uh, this, this thing, uh, this uh, group is infinite, if only if this number should be zero. But this number cannot be de may, may not be defined, right? Okay, it's infinite. It's an infinite product. Okay. So, how mathematicians do this thing? Uh, it's by so-called analytic continuation. So, so namely that uh, we consider a p to be this uh, the difference by n p uh, p minus p plus one with uh, n p this difference. And uh, uh, this is given that uh, has still that uh, a p has a bound by two square root of p. And by according to this, then we can consider this function, uh, which we call Hessel function, which is a function in my title. We have a curve, and then we we have function, and the function will appear right now, and then we will do derivative. And why would we do derivative? We will find out like uh, a couple of minutes later. So we have function, uh, we have function come show up. So we have those AP, and the because of this condition, and the we, 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 if you form this uh, infinite product, this is some some non-zero thing, or some uh, not non-zero, some some something that I don't want to discuss. The main turn is to look like this. So, and uh, by this condition, you can see that this, this infinite product converges uh, uh, for uh, absolutely for real, real s greater than uh, 3 over 2. Uh, it's a complex value. Uh, s is a complex value. So this condition guarantees that this, this, uh, this function converges for, converges for s greater than 3 over 2. Okay, so why, why do we consider about this function? Because if formally you put down, you put one into this function, a uh, one. Uh, so the, the one is not in the convergence area, right? Uh, real power of one is one. It's less than three over two. But if we put in one, you get to some, you get formally compu computation. Uh, do this formally computation, you, you get the something you want. You get this, this number you want to understand, right? If you put in one, then the formal computation shows that uh, it's something you want to understand. This number is something you want to understand. Okay, so so we want to understand this value, but this value cannot be may, may not be understand, may, may not be defined. But uh, we can do some something called analytic continuation. We can define, we can try to find some meaningful formula for this. We can uh, 
you can you can divide it uh, in some place and uh, and it is continuous uh, to this point. Okay, and uh, uh, you can even ask why 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 this form? Why why use this form? This um, yeah, I don't know how to answer the question. Uh, this is uh, not as, as obvious as the uh, Riemannian uh, function. Okay, okay. Anyway, this is some 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 shape that used to analytic continuous. Uh, this value one. Okay, try to we want to uh, uh, and if you continue with some function to the value one, we should get something you want to understand, you are interested. Okay, so we, we want to do that. And this is the famous zero, the one. Oh, well, uh, uh, in, in the, um, in the in, uh, when you want to prove the famous last theorem, remember in the very beginning, uh, something he important thing is that he used it as a function. So he, he showed that uh, this function can be and if continuous to a whole complex plane. So this function can be defined at uh, any complex point, especially one also. Okay, so and uh, some and uh, it satisfies some functional equation s to s two minus s. So so now <coughs> uh, it can it can be evaluated one, right? Because while theorem this function can be evaluated one and this is something we, we think is meaningful. Oh, the value we think is meaningful. So this value is called central value. Okay, it's some value. And uh, then, so at one, we want to see. Do you remember, we want to see the evaluate the, the evaluation at one is zero, non-zero, right? And the even if it's zero, we can also ask the order of vanish at that point at one, right? Okay. So uh, previous one, we only want to uh, see and all e one is zero or non zero. Okay. And actually we can <coughs> we can define the order of the vanish oh, at one. Okay, we can divide this, we should call the energy rank. Oh, R A N A rank, energy rank. Because everything coming from energy function. Oh, so it's some kind of energy invariant from from this curve. Oh, so we call we would call it the energy rank of the the elliptic curve. So the First, the higher conjecture, the weak form is that uh, the, the this this rank uh, is equal to the previous algebra rank. Uh, so namely that, namely that uh, really uh, uh, if you want to you want to know the uh, 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 okay uh, okay so if you want to know the equation has infinitely many solutions of finitely many solutions, you just you should check at the one at the e one. Oh, uh, it's zero, non zero. Oh, uh, just sim it's that simple. The U L E one is some product infinite many, many. It's infinite product. So you can you can you can you can run computer to check uh, to check. Uh, you can check the possibility of it's zero, non zero. You can product enough many primes. If it's zero, it, it, it should be very close to zero. Okay. So it is you. You got some kind of algorithm uh, to to check that thing. Uh, you can put in computer. So this condition is uh, proposed, of course, by Bertrand and Dyer in 1960, and uh, and also it it been checked, of course, it's checked by uh, 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 many uh, examples, and uh, there are many important results due to uh, those people, or especially in zero, rank zero and the one case, and the in zero, rank right zero and one case, uh, that the 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 Bertrand Dyer condition uh, is uh, uh, almost known, almost known. Almost long due to many people work on many people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mean analytic rank is equal to zero one or uh, anyway, any uh, anyway. yeah, any direction, yeah. Okay, and uh, so far, no any result in rank uh, greater than two case. If rank is greater than two, then uh, the uh, it's situation different. It's situation very different from the previous situation. So so far, not many uh, not many essential results in in, in the grade, in rank greater than two k in any direction in any direction. I mean, okay. So so this is uh, this is uh, uh, the so called the first Sentinel conjecture. So it's the uh, what's the relationship between this and uh, our work? So our previous work first we we uh, we we got we have some work uh, uh, related to rank zero situation and also some work uh, related to rank one situation. Okay, so the, in the rank zero situation is that we find out many examples which they are, which they are uh, rank zero. Okay, so, so, uh, so they can be the image causal field Q square root of negative D. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that H should be the Hilbert class field. Or uh, you can think of H as K. 
I can think of actually just uh, just k. If k is equal to k, and uh, and uh, we combine do, uh, work of Lubin. We, we first show that we have we pre well previous show uh, show that uh, there are uh, there is this uh, some uh, elliptic curve uh, over h. Uh, just just think of uh, h is k, and uh, they they have some uh, some more symmetry which calls the end. And such that uh, the, po the the points are finite. They have they have only finite domain solutions. Okay. So we 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 write down uh, actually we write down infinite domain uh, 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 curves. For example, uh, uh, this uh, this means that we, we find out infinite many uh, curves with finite many solutions. And for example, this is covered by our theorem. This this curve. This uh, this curve in the very very beginning by Bema already know. Okay, so uh, also other curves. Oh, uh, this maybe also this. Okay, and uh, so many and also many uh, other examples, but they, they could be complicated. Oh, okay. So so the our first result is about this. So this finite means the rank is zero, rank is zero situation. And this in this situation we, we compute the L value, the central L value. We compute the L the L value is non zero. We compute that thing. And uh, and uh, in that situation, the BSD actually know. We are we are not doing as BSD. Actually, the BSD already know. We just check the L value is non-zero. So the BSD guarantee that uh, the the uh, the the rational points is finite. Oh, so we compute that uh, uh, that L value. Okay. So we, I will, we will not, I will not go into the detail of this uh, part. So uh, okay. So let me go to uh, some other. Uh, some rank one uh, results. So for each prime, you, you can uh, for each prime, rational uh, prime number. Oh, you can you can sorry. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, for any uh, for, for any rational prime, prime, you can you can do the completion. Oh, you can consider completion of the rational with uh, respect to some uh, periodic absolute value, uh, which is given by this form. Oh, you you have a you original you have a usual <coughs> absolute value. If you do the completion of the range with respect to usual absolute value, you get a real you get a real numbers. But uh, it, instead, you can also consider some kind of uh, this kind of uh, absolute value called the periodic absolute value, uh, which is defined as follows. You can you can write a rational number by in this form. Uh, p p uh, p to the power times u u over v. U V are not uh, not divided by P. Or U V are not divided <coughs> by P. And the P is the sum P P to the power. Okay. So the absolute value is defined to P to the ne minus negative of that power. Uh, P to the n. Absolute value of P to the n is defined to P to the minus negative n. Uh, so you can check this is uh, this defines some uh, some absolute value. And uh, this is non equivalent to the uh, the, the usual uh, the absolute value. Uh, so you can if you com you can do completion to this absolute value, get some you get some 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 field, some complete <coughs> field containing Q. Uh, you get some other, and this is called QP. And uh, um, so, uh, so for an uh, elliptic curve E, uh, we then then we have uh, some we have some uh, so-called some group, some some groups called the Sha group, Shaba Shaba group, uh, which is defined to be this kernel. And uh, uh, you don't have to know what this is. It's something that I will explain uh, briefly. Uh, in the next slide. Uh, anyway, we we have some some invariance. Uh, we have some invariance of this elliptic curve. Uh, which we call sha group. Uh, what you what what this? Uh, uh, you just only you only need to know this. Uh, this is not important. Okay. So what this? This if you if you uh or you learn algebraic number theory, this is something uh, uh in energy in uh, to the uh, ideal class group. It's the energy to ideal class group. Even that you have already learned algebraic number theory, you can you can you can, uh, you can think of this uh, last thing. Why? This group uh, measures uh, the the abstraction towards the so, so called local global principle for E. What's the local global principle? Um, for example, the with the E curve, we can solve the E curve uh, in uh, in Z mod P Z. And this is called local solution. You can think of this uh, local solution. <coughs> the solution is Z minus P Z. Uh, you can think of that that way. And so local solution contributes to that AP. Right? Local solution contributes to this number AP. And the global solu global solution means that uh, means the, the rational solution. 
So the national solution will contribute to this strength. So this means that the local the go, local global beams will tell tells us what tells us uh, there's a precise meaning of that, but I'm not going to use that precise meaning. This basically is local global principle basically tells you that how local solutions can can uh, tell you about the global solution. What's the relationship? Okay. So so um so how this AP can can combine together to give you information about uh, the R A L G. That's the local global principle. Basically, the plot we're talking about. So, uh, so, so what's the sh the sharp group uh, is, is the in, uh, is the what's the position of the sharp group here? The sharp group uh, 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 measures abstraction. So abstraction means that if if the abstraction is big, the local solution are digital. Local solutions are digital to to combine to become a global solution. Uh, so if the abstraction is big, if the abstraction is small, then local solutions are may are more easily to combine to become a global solution. Uh, so therefore the abstraction of local global solution of sharp is is the BSD is true. BSD BSD just use those local solutions to get some function and any continuation to give you the information about the the one value at one. So BSD basically tells you about local solution, how to contribute to global solution. So if BSD is true Something has to be true that this abstraction has to be very small. Then this should be then the BSD is possible. If the abstraction is large, very large, then BSD is not uh, possible, right? So this the this uh, thing, this thing <coughs> is, uh, is conjecture to be very small. Okay, so that's the conjecture. Uh, this group is all finite. Small means finite in this situation. Uh, the group is to be small, finite. Okay, so uh our our second our our result in uh, in rank one is a very technical <coughs> thing, but uh, we, we mentioned the application uh, application to rank one situation. It's the uh, it's the theorem of Skinner. Uh, Skinner and uh, Sin one actually, which is uh, it's uh, it's student Sin one. Uh, it's rank one the statement. So uh, our our theorem contribute to a little part of this uh, Skinner theorem. So, so for in this curve over Q, suppose that uh, the algebraic, uh, this means the algebraic rank is 1. Suppose the algebraic rank <coughs> is 1, and the, suppose the uh, Shavish head group uh, is finite, then the, uh, the NAT rank is 1. So this is one direction. Oh, one direction, and the other direction is given by so-called gross Dagger formula. Oh, if you know, it's this is the one direction in rank 1. And the other direction is the cross that so called the cross that here local you, you are interested you can you can you can google it okay and it's a good formula a beautiful formula okay so so this is a related uh, okay so okay so so what's the derivative why the derivative in, in the title uh, why is the derivative okay so finally I want to talk about the derivative of L function why do we do that okay I'm, I'm so sorry okay so 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 um, recall that uh, we just mentioned I uh, real the real numbers are comp uh, is the completion of the uh, rational with respect to usual absolute value and QP is the completion of Q with respect to this uh, periodic absolute va uh, value and uh, um, and uh, of course uh, uh, you can you can do you can have real and uh, you can you have a complex number right complex complex number is real and uh, you take uh, algebraic closure okay. That's very closure, and uh, you can do the same thing to QP, right? You can you can take uh, algebraic closure, and and uh, unfortunately, if you take algebraic closure, it's uh, not uh, complete again. So you have to, to take a completion. So you take completion of algebraic closure of QP. You do in here, you do two classes. But anyway, anyway, this is something like a periodic complex number. You can think of this this uh, way, periodic complex number. Okay, and uh, um. And so the uh, Q of course QP energy with R and uh, C is energy with C. And uh, now what we, are, what we are going to do is that we want to want to repress everything from C to CP. Okay. And uh, there are some reasons of that. And uh, uh, and today I don't have time to explain that philosophy. Oh, there are some there are some reasons. Uh, we want to re repress uh, everything to CP to this in CP. Okay. Or you can think that because the absolute value is really divided by p power, very large power, then this guy is very small. So, 
So um, if the usual if the usual if the usual error function if the usual error function converges converges here, then if you com consider something 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 with p huh, this is on c this is on c p then the absolute value is the, the if the p the power is very large then the, the absolute value is very small so this means that basically naively huh, naively this guy should converge in this direction converge in this direction so naively this guy should converge in the the other <coughs> direction so you can you can have usually you need to study on any continuation of this guy here but uh, if you some you can have something already converge in this place that is good you have a good formula you think that you have good formula of points at this region so that's a very good thing to do uh, so especially we want to uh, replace everything with the periodic curve thing is the reason you can think of the re uh, reason is that okay. because to do any continuation you, you do some line integral and the line integral you, you, you can always compute that but if you, you have some good formula of this function on this place because it converges oh, naively <coughs> oh, it converges so you, you could put some good, fun, good formula but in the, the other space you, could, you get some formula good formula in, in, in different spaces and you can study the values and the, uh, you can compare okay so anyway anyway so so, so in this uh, CP we can use the methods in, in uh, uh, in periodic, here we, we become periodic analysis. Uh, it's uh, just uh, in energy with the real analysis. Uh, there is a branch of analysis which is called periodic analysis. Every absolute value becomes periodic absolute value. And you can do analysis. And, uh, and the why is that good? Because, because in periodic thing here, uh, a series converges <coughs> if only if it, uh, a series converges if only if the the uh, the a n converges to zero. That's a very different in in uh, in the complex and real situation. The conversion the convergence is easier. It's something easier to to check. So so analysis is easier. Some sort of easier. Uh, in some aspects, easier to deal with. Okay. So so how who first construct this uh, PID function, which is uh, uh, made the source and dial? They first con construct such kind of analytic, uh, CT analytic uh, uh, function huh. and uh, we, we, we call it LPES and, uh, and of course this guy has to be related to this guy uh, or, or, uh, or it's not really meaningful right ok so this is that uh, um, uh, it satisfies this, uh, this formula huh. the, 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 at the point we want to, under, we want to study at one how we want to understand this, this guy has the formula with the, has related to this guy uh, and the, this AP is the solution or uh, the number of solutions related to number of solutions not P okay so we have this formula okay good so so we can detect we can detect uh, this uh, we can see we can check this uh, number uh, using this number right okay and uh, uh, for some non, non zero numbers are uh, here and uh, and uh, in from this formula you see that if how how if how if AP is one? If AP is one, then AP inverse is one, and uh, this is zero. This is what so this is if this is zero, then the left hand side is always zero. So if AP is this means that if AP is one, then the left hand side is always zero, always always in any always zero. So so this is strange. So so if AP is one, then LPE is always in this equation always zero. So. So, because uh, remember that uh, we want to use this function to compare the order, we want to understand the order of vanishing of this uh, LO function, the energy function, and uh, want to, we want to under, uh, compare those two things, oh, right? Because we want to understand the order of vanishing of the, of the LO function. So, if we want to replace this guy with this guy, then we want to see, we first ask, we want to ask uh, that what, what's the relationship between this guy and this guy? Right, okay. So and obviously in this situation it's different. It, it, it looks like uh, this is some kind of extra zero, something like uh, extra zero here. Here, okay. So, 
So this is uh, uh, so-called uh, essential zero conjecture, uh, because this kind of uh, small essential zero appear here. Uh, so this kind some looks like uh, has uh, more more one more zero than this previous the the, the usual one. Okay, so this is the essential zero so-called essential zero conjecture, and uh, which says says that uh, their difference is precisely one. So before you can um, you can study this. You can study this. To, you can study. Uh, uh, you can study this in terms of this. You need to know their relationship, right? You need to know the relationship. And the, in this situation, is one. The, the the difference is one. And this is uh, uh, this is given by the uh, <coughs> this is given by uh, Greenberg Stevens. And how do you, how do you find out that some someone has uh, one more zero than the other? You just you just derivative of it. You just do the derivative one. So you do the derivative, he put that uh, the derivative formula, uh, he has this derivative formula for some non-zero constant. So it, they show this, they put this uh, formula. Okay, and uh, and the later on, later on, uh, the four people, <coughs> the Linda Mong, Yogita Shabizi, the four people, they, they put a similar formula uh, for this uh, case, it is called curve of K. Uh, so uh, previous to the discussion uh, of the curve are operational. And uh, of course, uh, you, you can consider a elliptic curve over a higher uh, degree number field, or uh, it's the extension of the rational finite extension. You can you can consider this situation, and uh, of course, many things are different. Uh, so so you can consider this, and the uh, Taylor function also defined, and everything uh, defined. You can you can you can also answer ask this question, and the they. they they prove a similar formula in, in this situation. The, the elliptic curve is uh, over the uh, square root, uh, two square root of ne negative b. And uh, which extend uh, uh, this, uh, which extend their, their uh, 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 which extend their, their result to, to a general, more general field called the CN field. Uh, it's a, uh, they, uh, they, their, their, situ uh, their situation is rational situation. Their is situation is elliptical of the imaginary quadratic field, and uh, their our our result is uh, elliptical of the CN field. Uh, it's a it's a more general situation. So, uh, so our result is uh, as, as, as follows, or more precisely, uh, because it's uh, in the almost end. So I will put the many notations here. So in, in this situation, we will uh, have uh, some uh, some total real number field. Okay, for example, real quadratic, and uh, uh, so uh, we have a uh, imaginary quadratic extension, and uh, we have several embeddings. So those embeddings will correspond to the in this case we will have several variables corresponding to the embeddings of this uh, total real field. And uh, here, so in this situation, we put some. Of course, there are some vanishing conditions similar magic condition. And uh, in this situation, we uh, we put some derivative formula in, in this form. In this form. And uh, we, we, we will not uh, explain those, uh, we will not explain the notation. Uh, they are just a stable variable thing. And the partial derivative formula, we have some partial derivative formula. And uh, okay, so um, let me briefly uh, explain uh, the, okay, so, so uh, notice that there's an assumption here, modular elliptic curve. Oh, this is uh, some technical condition. Uh, condition. And uh, several people show that uh, uh, elliptic curve at over real quadratic field are modular, or uh, always modular. So, so our theorem are not uh, empty. And empty. Uh, we 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 got something more than the uh, uh, original. Uh, 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 more more uh, more uh, not empty than the uh, Damon uh, DDIS. Okay. So, so uh, just briefly about the proof. So proof actually uh, is use the representation theory. We, uh, we need to use the uh, elliptic curve. We need to attach it to a module form, which is a, an elliptic function on the upper hair plane. Uh, if you know that, anyway, it's uh, some, something. You need to replace by module uh, by an elliptic curve to some elliptic function on upper hair plane, a complex upper hair plane. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, you work on that thing, and it certain invariance of the elliptic curve work is equal to the invariance of that module form. Uh, so you can uh, you can get uh, you can know the invariance from that uh, an elliptic function module form. Okay, 
And so, so that's that's the uh, the presentation theory. And the last, uh, how Wiles proved the FAMAS last theory, basically used this. And uh, and uh, here we, we have this periodic analytic thing. And uh, in in the complex thing, we need to do analytic configuration. And then in a complex situation, uh, usually do analytic configuration by by line integration, uh, usually. So here we need some kind of uh, common periodic uh, integration. It's some kind of periodic uh, line integration. Uh, in the periodic situation, uh, it's different because the, the periodic uh, uh, complex number is totally disconnected. So there are many uh, locally non-trivial locally constant functions. <coughs> so that you, you cannot trivially do line integration. There, are, there will be some, something wrong because there are too many non-trivial locally constant functions. No, so, so the entire directive is now well, very well defined. So you, you, you will get, you will have big trouble in doing the uh, periodic line integration. So, and the Coleman proposed uh, some method to do that thing. In, so this, that's the uh, Coleman periodic integration theory. And uh, in, in this, in the, using this, we can construct this uh, function. Uh, and of course, this is an arbitrary <laughs> function. This is, has to be related to this. So it can be, it should be well defined. Uh, so, so, so the last ingredient that the, our previous work we also we construct such a function. We construct such a function using the periodic integration. Uh, so, so that's the whole uh, maybe uh, that's, that's just a sketch of the proof. I I don't go, go into the details. So um, okay. So uh, I uh, so I stop here. Thank you. Thank you so much.